Hi guys, it's almost guaranteed that as soon as I upload a Fool of the Week, within a day or two we have something even more idiotic spewed onto the airwaves. So former BBC Radio DJ Lise Kershaw got a very warm response from GB News when she told the host that she's boycotting the boycotters. What? Yes, Liz is refusing to buy products from companies that don't advertise on GB News. She injected Reform UK into this monologue too for some reason. Have a listen. And this is great because I boycott so many shops uh, for different reasons. I have to remind myself, oh, I can't go in boots. Oh, no, I'm not going in Why not? Boots. Why do you boycott <laughs> shops? Uh, because of the where they avoid tax or... Yeah. But they refuse to advertise on GB News. Oh, Liz Kershaw, you champion. And, and um, I think it's just outraged, and I think it's time that there's so many people voted yep. for reform, there's so many people now watching GB News, and it's just commercial now. Commercial suicide. Yeah. OK. So she's refusing to buy products from companies that don't advertise on GB News. Now, how do you identify which companies are actively boycotting GB News and which companies are just not advertising on it because they can't be bothered? Because 99% of businesses don't advertise on GB News. So where does, K- where does uh, Liz get her food from? <laughs> do electricity companies don't advertise on GB News. So is she refusing to use power? Look, the boycott is in, re- is in relation to rhetoric and conspiracy theories that have been pushed on GB News. So companies don't want to be associated with, for example, conspiracy theories. So they will pull their advertising. They will refuse to advertise on platforms like GB News. And this is a problem because while they have big donors who are happy to hand over huge amounts of cash to maintain this channel... They do rely on advertising. They need that to help pay the bills. But if advertisers are pulling, well, pulling their advertising, their advertising revenue, then what does the company do? What does the the channel do? It has to either find other advertisers, it needs to ask its uh, donors for more money, or it needs to change. Now, it seems that GB News is not interested in changing because they could for example, stop hosting conspiracy theorists. They could change the way that they uh, report the news. They could move a bit more to the center. But then if they did that, they probably feel that they would lose most of their core viewers. They would go to talk TV or something more extreme. So they're in a bit of a fix. If they want to hold on to the advertisers, they need to change their rhetoric, change their style. But if they want to hold on to the viewers, they need to double down on the crazy. So businesses are going to boycott. This is capitalism. They can't complain about businesses pulling their support. Businesses have every right to do so. But if they do and they continue to do this, it's going to be more and more difficult for GB News. And the big donors may decide at some stage it's not worth it. And if they do it, then GB News is finished. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.